What is going on everybody? My name is WonderGamer and welcome back to another video. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to get mods for Gary's mod. Um, so yeah, I'll be showing you how to get hacks for Gary's mod servers and stuff like that. So first, what you're going to want to do is go to your Google or internet and go to this website right here. I will have the link in the description if you want to go to this website and download the mods just go to the description open the link it'll take you here now this it shows you everything that you can get you know like with this mod it shows you the mod menu so what you're gonna want to do is click download and then click this download button and it'll say preparing download and then after you've done that just hit download I'll do it for the sake of this video even though I've already done it you wanna push open so then it'll take you to this right here and you will see idiot box just click on that you wanna drag bin to your desktop and you wanna drag idiotbox.lua to your desktop and once you've done that you are going to find your Gary's mod so I'll go to this PC I'll go to Windows program files uh, Steam Steam apps common Gary's mod now once you're in here hold up Sorry about that. Um, once you're in here, click Gary's Mod. Go down to Lua. You'll see this. Now, as you see here, I already have both of these in my Gary's Mod folder. I have idiotbox.lua and this, which is the bin folder. So you'll just drag bin in there, and then you'll drag idiotbox.lua into that. And once you've done that, just you can exit out. But don't delete them. I'm going to do that because, well, I already have it. So I'm going to delete that. And, yep, yeah, let's delete this too. So since I just deleted that, I still have it because I've already installed these hacks before. So after you've done all that, launch Gary's Mod. Come on, Gary's Mod. Launch, please. Oh, there it goes. Okay, thank you, Gary's mod. Let me check OBS real quick. Oh, yeah, you can also exit out of all that Internet Explorer stuff. Okay, so now once you're in Gary's mod, what you're going to want to do is push Start New Game. Uh, pick whatever map you want. I'll just pick Construction. Go over here where it's a single player. Click uh, anyone you want I'll just put 32 players you can change any of the settings just do whatever you want uh, so just start the game all right that was my key if you heard that by the way my bike key okay now this is where it gets interesting and fun incredibly fun Okay, so now I'm here in Gary's mod, and what you're going to want to do is open up the console, just type in clear to clear everything. You're going to want to put sv underscore allow, allow cs lua space 1, that'll activate them, that'll activate the mod, and then you're going to want to put lua underscore open script underscore cl space idiot box idiot box dot lua and then you'll see 
you'll see all this pop up and you'll hear heavy say I am ready and now what you're gonna want to do is go back into the console actually just spam bot so these will spawn in a bunch of player like these will spawn in a bunch of bots that act as players and whenever I before I got into the map I told you to pick like a multiplayer however many bots you want to have that's gonna depend on how many people you pick so now I have 26 bots yes 26 bots that is a lot actually but now to activate your hack menu you just want to push insert once you once you push insert this is gonna pop up let me turn off wall hack real quick my voice cracked just don't mind that but yes once you push insert it'll pull up your hack menu now you see aimbot trigger bot wall hack all these things so first I'll show you aimbot you just push enable and whenever you do this let me exit the menu get a gun so laggy because I put in way too many bots and I'm recording so that doesn't help either okay so now I have a gun so now you see that I'm snapping onto them but if you don't want to snap onto them and you just want regular aimbot then you go back into your menu push silent so now as you can see I am not locking onto any of them but whenever I shoot it'll kill them so I do have the aimbot I'm just not locking onto them but it'll still kill them like watch see oh god that's gonna crash my game but um what I was doing there is all of these bots they're acting as real players so say if you got into a dark RP server and you did that you would just absolutely kill everybody by the way I disconnected and I'm getting back in because having that many bots and recording at the same time was not a good idea <clears throat> but yeah that that's pretty much how you get mods and gmod Oh wait, I messed up. There we go, that's better. Okay, now let me spawn in bots. okay so there's a couple bots and I want to show you guys some more stuff with this so as I told you you know you have the aim bot um, you can mess around with all this like no recoil no spread snap lines I actually kinda like the snap lines because it shows you who you're gonna target so let me get a gun like a really overpowered gun from what I know, I don't think you can aimbot with melee weapons. No, you you cannot aimbot with the melee weapons, but they are incredibly strong. But yeah, if I get like this. Let me get more bots. But you see, I can just absolutely kill everybody. See, everybody's dead.
This aimbot is insane, guys. But that's not all you could do. If I turn off aimbot, well, or you could leave it on. One thing that I really like is wall hack. Now, what you can do is enable wall hack. You can pick 3D box or 2D. You can add the box. As you see, there's a bunch of red boxes running around my screen. You can add the name, health bar, uh, health value, armor value, weapon, rank, ping, money, distance. You can add all that stuff. It's really fun. <clears throat> Sorry. It's really fun to mess around with. Uh, you could add the health skeletons so you can see them in green like that. You can add... Oh god, that makes it like... It outlines them with bright stuff. You could add the hitboxes, which I like to have instead of having the, uh, the boxes. I like the hitboxes because they're better. For the sake of the video, I'll just put on the regular regular boxes. Take off that. Oh yeah, you can also activate third person. You could do uh, all kinds of stuff. Team colors. I love bunny hop. That is one of my favorite things to enable. Because you could just hop forever. and Just constantly hop. It's a very fast way to get around the map. That's for sure. But yeah, you could see, like, if you're playing on Dark RP, this is one of my favorite things to have. The spectators list. Because if you're getting spectated by an admin, that admin can see all the red, like, box outlines. He can see the that green line leading to who you're going to kill. He can see all that. So with that spe spectators box, if you see that an admin is spectating you, you could just turn everything off and you won't get caught. So just saying that, if you play Dark RP, definitely keep that on. Uh, you could put Traitor Finder and Murder Finder. So if you're playing Murder or T Trouble in Terrorist Town, you can instantly find who the murder murderer is. Um, there's Trigger Bot, which just like if you turn on aimbot it fires for you like right now I don't have my hand on the key I don't have my hand on my mouse at all and it's just automatically firing at everybody so there's that look even if I try to look away it just automatically snaps Okay, but yeah, that's pretty cool. So I like that. Um, you have all this like ignore admins. Turn that on if you're on a dark RP server, so you don't auto lock onto an admin. Here's wall hack that I was showing you. All this, yeah, and here's a bunch more stuff like custom stats that appears right there. You can get custom crosshairs. All that stuff which is pretty cool uh, you can turn no sky full bright rapid fire flashlight spam hide HUD kill spam which is actually pretty funny auto response death notify Um, is it kill spam that's doing that? No, it's death notifying. Turn that off. Turn on kill spam. <laughs> See, whenever I kill someone, it says something like, Gmod cheats. Gmod cheats. Sure is a good sight. Damn. Ha. Ha. 
Did you get that garbage from Gmod Cheats? Well. See what I mean, guys? This is uh, very, very insane and fun. Oh, and also you can go in here and change your like menu color if you want it red. You can make it red. If you want it blue, it could be blue if you want it to. Actually, blue looks kind of nice. I think I'll keep that on. Now everybody's dead. Let's see, what other guns do I have? Oh god. That is pretty amazing. Hmm. I have no idea what that does. This gun just doesn't work. Okay, that's nice. Um, what else do I have? Hmm. Hold on, I think there's like a super admin revolver. Yeah. That's crazy. A deagle. It reloads incredibly slow. Wow. Alright guys, I'm gonna end the video here. If you enjoyed, like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this one. And I will see all you guys in the next video. Peace out, everybody. You're getting to be a big boy.